Hey, what is going on guys? Today we are going to take a look at creating this cool little infographic animation in HitFilm Express. So let's get started. I'm going to take a new composition and let's start by creating a new plane layer. This will be our background. So I'm going to call this PG for background and you can choose any color that you want. I'm going to go with a black color and click on OK. Then we're going to create another layer or we can just bring in this background layer which is in the media tab over here you can just bring that in and you can rename it to pi like this and we can apply a fill color on this so let's search for fill color and add it on this layer for the color uh, let's just go let's just start with this purple one and click on ok the second effect we're going to apply is called polar warp and just apply it on this layer and it will turn your layer into a circle shape then we're going to go inside the polar warp and reduce the end radius till we get the desired uh, size that you want so i'm going to leave it to around 200 and then we are going to animate it so so right now you can see that we have rotation and range so we can animate these two properties to create our infographic animation. So we can start at the very first frame and create a keyframe on both rotation and range. And let's start with zero on both of these. So we have no animation at all. And let's go forward to two second and we can just increase the range. So if you want your infographic to display uh, like a hundred percent of your chart or the pie chart you can set this to 180 but let's say if you want to display only about 70 percent how do we know what value is 70 percent here so you can use calculator so let's say if you want to know the value that we have to use for 70 percent so you can just divide a number like we can start with 100 and divide it by 180 which is the range the maximum range which is 180 and multiply that by 100 which gives us this number which is 55.55 uh, this is not 70 so we can just increase the number here to 120 which gives us 66 we are still close so we can just set this to 125 which gives us 69.44 and let's do one more which is 126 which gives us this value which is 70 and we can use 126 in our range keyframe which will give us that 70 percent value and same in the rotation we set this to 126 so now it will go from zero to basically 70 percent so let's say if you want to have a 50 percent or let's say a 90 percent you can just increase this number over here we can set this to 140 which gives us 77 we want we're looking for 90 percent right so we can set this to 160 or uh, 164 gives us 91 uh, 162 gives us this value called 90 and which is the 90 percent in this case so we can set this to 162 on both of these and this will be your your 90 percent pie chart right so um, i'm not good with maths but this is just a basic formula that you have to use to get the desired value uh, and by the way, this thing I'm using, it's it's called Power Twice. Uh, you can just find it on the internet. It's really handy, this tool. Uh, you can hit the Alt and the Spacebar key to get this. And you can search for any file on your computer and you can make calculations pretty easily in this thing in this little box here. It's like, it's kind of like a spotlight for Mac OS but this is going to work for windows so uh, we're going to turn these keyframes we select all of these keyframes and convert them to manual bezier then go into value graph hold the shift key and just drag it all the way to the left so that we have a more nice looking animation like that all right so um i'm going to duplicate this Control d to duplicate and on the second one i'm going to go to effects polar warp and i'm going to go to let's say let's go to fill color and reduce the blend amount so basically what we're trying to do is reducing the opacity of this so that we can get a little background behind this so we can just we can actually go to this should be at the bottom like that and uh, on the top one we're going to move the keyframes a little forward we buy uh by 10 frames so now it will look something like that 
the one which is at the bottom we are going to remove the or just change the polar warp to 180 so that it is at 100 percent right that's it so the first one goes to 100 percent and the second one will go to your amount at like the 90 percent or 70 percent whatever you want it to be all right so that's pretty much it guys uh, that's how you can create this infographic and then I just added a glow to make it look nice so you can do that too add a glow set this to add or normal and just play with the threshold and the radius right it's just going to look nice and then we can add some text to this so let's say 90 percent like that and we can just increase the size and just move it over here and change its color to this one and again apply the glow effect to this and just make it look nice uh, use the radius and increase the threshold and you can animate it coming in by animating the transform so we can just maybe create a keyframe at two second on position go back to one second and bring it down like this so that it comes from the bottom set the keyframes to manual best you're going to value graph and hold the shift key and drag this to the left so we have something like that all right looks pretty cool so that's all that's how you can create this little infographic animation in head thumb i hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if you did then make sure you like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.